Lockdown, take two. <laughs> okay, so we're all trying to train again at home. We want to get our protein in, we want to keep healthy. So today's recipe that you've all requested was something with high protein. So I'm going to show you how to make high protein banana oat pancakes. So these come in about 65 grams of protein, which is absolutely amazing. You can make loads of them, keep them in the freezer, take them out and toast them whenever you want them. They're great for babies if you bring the babies onto solids. They're great for kids, great for adults, great for everyone. And they literally take two minutes and they can all be done in the blender. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is put your pan onto a low heat, a very, very low heat because we want this to come to temperature really slowly. So straight into our blender, we're going to go first with our oats. We want to just blend them up until we get a nice fine oat flour. You can just use quick cut oats so. Give them a quick blend and now you can see I'm left with a really nice fine oat flour. We can add the rest of our ingredients straight in. I'm going to go straight in with our banana. You want it to be really ripe because this is when it's the sweetest and got the most flavour. Bananas aren't looking that ripe, just stick them by the radiator for a few hours and they'll ripen up. In goes that, the chia seeds are going in, then the flax seeds, a teaspoon of baking powder for a bit of lift. I'm going to go in with one whole egg and then two egg whites. making this for children, don't bother adding the two egg whites, just keep it with one whole egg. Keep hold of your egg yolks because there's going to be a chocolate pot video coming very soon to Gabriella's Kitchen that will call for two egg yolks. To that, a splash of vanilla just for a little bit of flavour. This is completely optional. And then a splash of any dairy-free milk, or if you want to, you can use whole fat milk, that's fine too. I'm going to put the lid on, give it a little blend. If it's looking far too thick, like it's not moving, we'll just add another splash of milk. A quick note in this as well guys if you haven't got a blender you can do this completely by hand you're just going to have a bit more of a rustic textured pancake they'll still taste just as amazing and when you're blending as well make sure we don't over blend it we want to literally just incorporate everything together don't kill it with too much you can see the consistency of the batter it's nice and thick it's dropping off the spoon we are ready to fry so i've had my pan on a low heat it's just coming to temperature now it's getting a bit warmer when we're frying these, you can use whatever you want. I'm gonna be using olive oil, just a really good quality one, natural fat. You can be using something like coconut oil, or if you are calorie counting, you can use some of these zero cal, one cal sprays. Another little tip to make sure we're not covering our pan in oil is, if you just take a little bit of kitchen roll and dab it on, and that way you can just wipe your pan and take off any excess, but still creating a non-stick barrier. When we're putting the batter on, it's going to spread a little bit, so don't put on too much so they end up sticking together. Also, once you put your batter in, leave it, don't touch it, don't fiddle with it, don't spread it. Let's go. The pancakes are ready. I just cooked them for two minutes each side. They've puffed up amazing and you can see how fluffy and light they are. Now for the best part, all the toppings. So I'm just going to finish mine off with some fat-free Greek yogurt, really good source of protein and it adds a really great fresh flavour. I'm just going to dollop that on top. Some fresh blueberries, full of antioxidants and great for a healthy breakfast. And then again, just add a little bit more protein, I'm going to go with a couple of teaspoons of runny almond butter. Final treat, a little drizzle of honey, but agave would work great, maple syrup's amazing, or a little bit of chocolate sauce. So there you have it guys, my protein packed banana oat pancakes. Mm -hmm.